InfoSwim RDII analyst, which allows you to basically figure out what the RTK parameters are for your hydrology. So the idea is you give it flow and rainfall data and it'll calculate using genetic algorithms what the RT and K values are. And the general idea is you have one monitor location, then you can allocate that RDII by sewer shed upstream. So this one RDII shows up um, at all these different nodes. And the way it's defined at a node is you go to inflow, and you have external inflow, dry weather inflow, and then RDII inflow using those RTK values. So now we'll click on RDI analyst. And again, remember we're doing one node. We import our rainfall data and our flow data. And you have a nice um, dialog for the screen to show up that has the rainfall format and the, and the flow format. You give the very important to give it the flow format, time interval, and then the rainfall time interval. It imports. And the whole idea is you're trying to generate what the, you're trying to estimate what the dry weather flow is and the groundwater influence flow, and then subtract that and get the RDII. So the first step is you look at the rainfall and the flow data. You come over here to analysis and you extract the dry weather flow. And you say that a certain percentage of the dry weather flow at the base is groundwater flow. So very nicely it comes in with our average dry weather flow for the week comes up with our pattern that we can export to InfoSwim, and it comes up with our groundwater. So four major components. It gets the dry weather, the, the uh, wet weather component as far as groundwater, and it gets the residual. So now we come over here to extract to our RDI analysis. We compute the RDII, and what it, what it does is it, it takes that flow data and subtracts out the, the pattern. And, track, and subtracts out the groundwater. You end up with just the wet weather events. Now you can click on um, genetic algorithm and we'll give it the um, sewer shed area upstream and what it'll do is it'll calculate the RTK for the RTK for the uh, for the hydrograph that the, the best matches that. Now it's best to do this iteratively. Um, you do like a best estimate. It comes out here when you want to when you want to refine that you go to RDI analyst calibrate again and you give it essentially uh, parameters so you give it the min and the max for all the various RTK parameters and once you're done with that once you're done with that you come over here to um, export and you export the uh, RDII you can export to drive weather flow pattern you can even save the meter data, the rain gauge data. So we have a lot of connections between this and InfoSwim. So where does that come in? It comes over here under operations. Now we have our patterns over here. Here's our pattern. And here's our weekend pattern. Here's our RDII. So now we can go ahead and run this. So we go ahead and run the model using that RTK value. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll apply that to those to those um, sewer sheds that we've defined. And right now it's collecting the um, the input data. It's making an IMP file. It's going through the RDII now doing the simulation. Now we can come over here and look at the output. So we go to our output report manager, which is this guy here. And we can look at the system curve right now. And the system curve will show us what the RDII is for the overall model. So here we come down to RDII inflow, and here's our RDII inflow. So for this whole model, we should have ran it a little bit longer, but that's generally how you work, work it. Uh, RDI analyst is a great, really great tool for generating the drive weather flow, drive weather flow pattern. Um, the RDII the calibrated RTK parameters for your RDII so you can do better modeling of sanitary sewer ships.